Now, it sounds like the implausible plot of a thriller, but this actually happened. You may remember that on April the 11th, there was a bomb attack on the bus transporting the German football team Borussia Dortmund. Thankfully, only one player was slightly hurt. But contrary to initial reports, it turns out the attack was motivated by money. The suspect allegedly bought 15,000 put option contracts on the team's shares worth $83,000. He took out a consumer loan to fund it. Put options allow an investor who predicts a decline in an asset value to sell it at an agreed higher price on a fixed day in the future. After the attack, Dortmund's share price fell 7% to $5.60 per share. It's currently trading even lower at around $5.50 a share. And the favourites, Dortmund, ended up losing both matches to Monaco and crashed out of the tournament. The club also lost out on the $8 million it would have received if it had qualified for the next round. So for more on uh, this and the money to be made behind football, let's hear from Kieran Maguire, a football finance specialist at the University of Liverpool. Kieran, thanks so much for being with us on Money Talks. I see you are all decked out and ready to go to uh, a football match. Where are you headed to? I'm going to Carrow Road uh, in an hour where uh, Norwich City are playing Brighton at Hove Albion. Oh, good luck to you there. Listen, let's talk a little bit about this attack and, and the financial implications of it, because it, it's starting to get quite bizarre now. Um, the suspect could reportedly only have made about $4,000 from this scheme, but if the bomb had actually taken out more members of the team, it would have wiped out millions of dollars off the company's value, would it not? It would have done, but he would then have a problem because there's so few shares in Dortmund being traded that there's a very illiquid market. So whilst he had a contract to sell shares in Dortmund, he would have actually struggled himself to be able to buy the shares at a low price. So in doing so, he would have probably forced the price up himself. Uh, it does seem a bizarre strategy to take. And clearly, uh, you know, it, it's an appalling uh, set, set of actions to in, involve himself with as well. I have to ask you this, have there been many other such schemes that you know of? Um, not as such, although there, there is evidence that certainly uh, some players and managers and people associated with clubs have bet on individual results of matches and tried to influence them, but certainly not on the share price uh, for, for a traded company. Uh, you, you could see it, it would be more easy to, to uh, take place if it was for uh, a company who had far more shares being traded, such as Manchester United, for example. Right. Let's also talk about the, the knock-on impact of what could have happened if this attack had been successful. Um, insurance would have been another factor. I presume uh, the insurance companies uh, of Dortmund would have had to pay out quite a bit of money on this, right? Well, that's right. Clubs always take out emergency insurance and disaster insurance. Um, and whilst the premiums are quite high, clearly if they had lost a player to a long-term injury as a result of this, then the insurance companies would have had to pay out. But that would have been a knock-on effect for the, all of football because the premiums would go through the roof because uh, the, the insurance companies would be very, very worried about repeat, uh, repeat offences of this nature. Do you think also this is going to have a damping effect on other clubs and, and sports teams who are looking to list their shares on the stock market? I think overall um, the, the markets are very sceptical about football clubs. Unless you are a global brand, it's actually very difficult to, to leverage the loyalty of the local fans. Most clubs are in significant amounts of debt. And if you take a look even at the Premier League, which is probably the best marketed league in the world, overall that's made a loss of around about 100 million euros this year, although some clubs have made spectacular profits. Fascinating insight. Kieran Maguire, University of Liverpool, thank you so much for being on Money Talks.